Alrighty, today we're gonna tear into this thing. We're gonna get a new intake and carb on here and distributor. Probably not gonna get to the distributor today, but that's okay. We'll still get it fired up with a new carbon intake. Um, I'm possibly gonna paint the valve covers. I have no idea how far I'm gonna get. It all depends on how how fast and fluidly we get working. But I'm gonna get this thing tore apart, start putting that intake and the new carburetor on here, and take you guys on a journey. So stay tuned. Very valuable information. If I run across anything that, you know, someone might have a question about, I'll touch on it in this video. So. So some of you might be wondering what I'm doing right now. I turned the motor over till it was on top dead center. You can see my line is right in the valley on the timing tab. And then now you can see got my distributor cap here. I'll set my cap back on. Oh, I'm way off. Hang on, let me rotate this around. Set my cap back on here, make sure it's locked in. Two, one. This is cylinder number one right here. When I take this off, the rotor should be pointing right at this spark plug wire. It is. So that means we're in the right spot. I did that so when we pull the distributor out, we know where to put the distributor in because when we go to set the distributor in, we can turn it a little bit further um, this way. So when we slide it in, it rotates in in the correct position. I know that my rotor has to be pointed towards cylinder number one and my vacuum advance has to be somewhat pointed towards number six that's what i found and have heard from many 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 old guys that's one of the best ways you can put in your distributor Alright, so before anyone yells at me for destroying a cylinder head surface with my screwdriver, I made sure anytime I went in at an angle, I was not pushing down like this and then tapping the hammer, damaging the cylinder head surface. I was either pushing up on the intake or it was going in and wedging the, the intake away from the cylinder head. So let me just clear that up. And for now, it looks like pretty decent. I've seen a lot worse. This looks really good, actually. Um, I'm going to have to pull the valve covers off to put the new intake on because these valve covers, being a little newer, they have a, a thicker lip on them, so it kind of, like, holds the intake in place. Kind of weird. I didn't realize that these newer small blocks had that. But I'm going to start taking the valve covers off, then I'm going to get all the surfaces cleaned. I do have new valve cover gaskets for the valve covers. I might have some different valve covers for this thing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with these, but other than that, I'm going to start cleaning the surfaces and get these valve covers off so we can get that new intake on there. All right, so I got everything cleaned off. I got it vacuumed out. So now I'm just gonna take some lacquer thinner, put it on a little rag and wipe everything down good. All right, so here's what comes in your intake gasket kit. These bags right here, got these rubber, rubber things that supposedly should be the great idea to go on the ends of the intake. You know what you do with these? Get rid of them, don't eat them. You need your distributor gasket and your intake gaskets. That's all you need. 
All right, so first thing you're gonna do, take your RTV, spread it along the cylinder heads, get your, get your gaskets on the cylinder heads, match up your gaskets, make sure they're right. This one looks to be the right one for this side. So I'm gonna take in this side up, it'll tell you right on the gasket, this side up. So I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna kinda like paint on my RTV, especially around the ports. Just kind of run her up and down along these ports here. This one isn't as important. It's just an exhaust crossover, which will be blocked off. There, it's spread pretty nice. Now take your finger, spread it out real nice and even. Make it look however pretty you want to make it look. That's, that's up to you. I'm not getting real picky here. The most important thing is make sure you got RTV around your ports. So you don't have any leakage. <laughs> funny, funny. Laugh all you want. Then take your intake gasket, set it up here. Now that's not the important part. Well, obviously it's some semi-important, but get that up there. Then a couple things I like to do. So the first thing being, I'm gonna put a dab of silicone at the edge of, the, of these particular cylinder, or um, my bad, at the edges of these particular cylinder, at the edges of these particular intake gasket or intake manifold bolts, because these bolts actually run through an oil passage in the motor. So if you don't RTV them or silicone or a thread sealer or whatever you floats your boat, you know, you're gonna have oil work its way up the bolts and then ooze out off the intake. But, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but is what we're mainly here for are these edges of the, sill of the block. Is what these are commonly known as is the china walls. A lot of guys, a lot of old school guys like to call these china walls. So I'm gonna refer to them as the china walls as well. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get a nice, nice gob of silicone up here. You're gonna kinda of wanna fill it in. Make sure it's, there's a, there's a nice thick gob there. And after I get my finger wiped here and I can control this, you're gonna take and you're gonna act like you're a welder. You're gonna lay a nice, stack up some nice dimes of silicone here. You're gonna take and you're gonna lay a nice thick About quarter inch thick bead. Along this edge. Excuse all the pauses. Having issues with the silicone. So I'm gonna make sure it's run right along this edge real nice. A 
looks kind of gaudy because I had an issue with my silicone, but the main goal of this is to, to get like a quarter inch thick bead along the intake channel walls. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take and I'm gonna lay my intake down. Just like that. For now, I'm gonna take two of my old intake bolts. Get them started. Preferably opposite corners. So then the gasket will not fall down. I'm actually gonna get four of them in here. So you have one bolt on each end of the gasket. As far as tightening sequence, I just tend to go from the inside out and bounce back and forth. I've done this with all my intakes. I know there's a very special way, and if this was a very high performance build, that's the direction I'd take, but it's not. So I'm just gonna start from the inside and work my way out back and forth. All right, so now I'm actually gonna take that water pump off because of that small water pump leak. Get that water pump out of the way. I got a new one I'm painting up right now. I'm gonna throw that water pump in there. All right, so I wanted to speed up the process for a little bit, not make this video so long. So I quick swapped the water pump, touched up the front of the motor, not the greatest job by all means. It's just a freshen up, I'm not trying to, as one told me earlier today, I'm not trying to set the world on fire. So I eventually will do that with the rest of the motor when I get some headers on it and blah, 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 yada, yada. My alternator bracket's drying. I'm gonna figure out something for my fuel line for the new Edelbrock carburetor. Probably gonna set the distributor in now. Uh, valve covers, I still gotta do something about. I probably should have painted those already, but oh well, I'm gonna run up front and grab some different valve covers. Those are kind of crusty. Although I will clean those up and hold on to those. So again, I went and jumped right in and just did it. Got it done. Uh, Put the alternator bracket on, finished putting the alternator on, put the water neck on, got my valve cover gaskets here, the valve covers are drying. All right, so now I'm gonna drop the distributor back in. I know earlier I kind of talked about this. I got my new distributor gasket on there. Clamp is in 
That should be pretty good, actually. Surprisingly, it's pointing at number one. Let me take and set my cap on there. There's number one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Get her on the first try. All right, I'm gonna clamp that down and I'm gonna get the new carburetor. I gotta get some odds and ends. Like I gotta get a plug for that. I gotta get a um, nipple over there for the heater core hoses. 